it's me stormy and here's your horoscope for january 2018 all right leo so man we've got a month of moons one of them is an eclipse that's going to be happening in your sign so we're certainly going to have a perception shift which is going to be really good because you've got a pretty busy month coming up with things at work and stuff like that so i think it's going to be all the better for you but first before we jump in and start to talk about everything that's happening this month i hope you will join me for three dollar thursdays a new feature i've got going all of 2018 it's the third thursday of every month i will be teaching on an astrological concept so grab your natal chart grab your solar return chart your progress chart whatever it is you're looking at and come learn about the aspects and the principles that i'm going to be teaching about super fun it's a more intimate setting and it gives us an opportunity for me to also do some question and answer time about your personal chart so Click in the description box down below. That's where the link is or come visit me at stormygrace.com and I hope to see you in there. You can buy one session, five sessions, whichever, whichever ones you want to or you can just buy the whole year. Now coming up in January on the 18th, I'm gonna be talking about business timing, hint, hint, Leo, in astrology and how to spot these aspects um, so that you're using the best timing to launch your new business, quit a business, take a business and change directions, buy stuff, sell stuff, you know, D all of the above. So I hope to see you at uh, $3 Thursdays. Description box. Me and you. Okay. Leo, what a cool beginning of the year. It's 2018 and we've got a fresh start. And what I love about it actually is that the first moon we're going to have this month, and the moon always indicates change, okay? The first moon that we're going to have is in Cancer. So just in your next door neighbor here. But this lights up the 12th house first for you, the 12th house for you on the 1st of January. So what this looks like for you is that I feel like you come into 2018 ready to let go of some thinking, ready to let go of some pattern habits that have been slowing you down, ones that you think are ineffective, if there have been fears, if there have been whatever. I feel like 2017, you became really aware of what some of these things were, and now you're in a position to put them down because they're blocking your success. Um, also, some of the things you could be coming in with this being 12th house energy and cancer nurturing energy, you could have been working on a project, building a business, starting a new little side hustle, starting a hobby, and it's been very much so in the background and you haven't really had it out in the public yet. And now you may start to see some movement on that because the full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. Sometimes the end is just about creating the space for that brand new beginning. I think it's actually a very positive moon to start the year off for you because it moves you from here to here, moving you forward. The other thing I'll tell you, because we do have so many planets in your sixth house right here in January, is that if you just need quiet time, you just need downtime, please make sure that you take it, okay? Now, when we get to the second of the month, we see Uranus coming direct. Now, while Uranus was retrograde, our fears, our doubts, um, all of those kinds of things ran to the surface. There could have been a lot of doubt. There could be things from the past that were running to the surface and we were put, they were put in our face for us to deal with. Now, when Uranus turns direct, we have full motion to move these things forward, right? Break down these old structures. Get rid of that crap thinking that hasn't been serving you. Get rid of these relationships that are not nourishing your soul. Stop being a relationship that's not nourishing someone else's soul, right? At work, in your job, um, take this deep breath and make sure that you are showing up like the fire sign that you are. All of these different things, but it allows you to break these structures that would have limited you. And now you get to expand. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous place to be. Now on the 12th of this month, we are going to see your loaded sixth house get even fuller. So, so far in the sixth house, we've got Saturn there. So we know Saturn's not playing around, grounding you down, bringing to you to a place of new responsibility in your work zone, bringing you to illuminating new responsibility around your health and your schedule, your day-to-day -day schedule, right? Like, do you like your day-to-day -day schedule? Do you feel like your routine is bringing you life, right? What about at work? Are you ready to step up to the next zone and take more responsibility? Because it is about being responsible. 
in your health? Are you doing things that are mentally making you crazy or are you really embracing taking care of your mental and your physical health? All of these things are going to start to show up with Saturn there helping to round you out. But now we've also got Pluto bringing about this change. Leo has to die off so that a new Leo can live, right? Just kind of this shedding. We've also got Venus and the sun over there, but then on the 12th, we welcome in Mercury. So now at work, communications get busy. You're emailing, you're talking, you're having conversations. Maybe somebody's onto your little side hustle plan that you've got started back here that nobody knew about, and you're starting to set up meetings or begin conversation or things like that. Wonderful energy here with Mercury coming in here to um, relook at your diet. Relook at that daily routine, relook at your health, relook at your relationship with coworkers, things like that, right? Then we get to the 16th and we're having this new moon in Capricorn, our structure sign, and it's in your sixth house. So if you want to start that new diet, New Year's resolution time, you know what I'm saying? Don't set a resolution, just do it. Like don't resolve yourself, just, just do it if you're going to do it. <laughs> or if you need to make changes in your medical plans, I think this is a wonderful energy to initiate those conversations with your medical practitioners practitioners if that's what that looks like um Either way, we're at the new moon here, and this is the time where we plant these seeds of intention, Leo, and we plant those seeds of new beginning in the dark. We don't know exactly how they're gonna blossom out. We just know that we're willing to foster a new start here. Now, I will tell you, it looks like here too, just looking in the ephemeris, um, you know, with Saturn there, you may have to be putting in a little bit of extra work right here in January at work or at whatever you're doing, because really what you're trying to do is be effective and efficient as much as possible, but you're doing it in a different way with a different mentality that's a lot more responsible. And when we get to this new moon, because it is in Capricorn and Capricorn and Leo energies, I don't feel like always are immediately in simpatico i think they get there but you may have something come up where it's kind of like a bump in the road at work and you have to just kind of go with the flow go with the flow leo change directions or maybe something pops up with your health change directions as need be okay effective and efficient as possible is what you're going for now when we get to the 18th we see venus coming into aquarius just here on the 21st we see the sun coming into aquarius now everybody's lighting up your social seventh house right aquarian energy is very social it wants to move it wants to be a part of things and in your seventh house this could be that you're you know maybe you're going out and about maybe you're enjoying your relationships you're having more conversations you've started maybe new relationships with businesses collaborations partners people even maybe a little romance here um, where new relationships are wanting to be started as well how wonderful maybe you've got a new co-worker and you know what I mean you're welcoming to the fold you've started new friendships at the gym because you are working on your health whatever this looks like um, the sun in Venus is a very pleasant magnetic energy, and so you're pleasant and magnetic in this energy. Now, when we get to the 28th, we see Mars moving into Sagittarius here in your fifth house, okay? You're a natural fifth house ruler, so this is a relatively comfortable energy. It's also in a fellow fire sign. So in the fifth house, you're expressing. This is you expressing. This is, I feel like you've had this little cute project back here in the works that we don't know about, but you're about to launch that fire on us, and we get to see something you want to put out. You want to express, you want to share something with us. Great time for investments. Mars is about action. He's moving, so this is a wonderful time to take action action on investments if you've been wanting to make that. Now remember that is very dependent on your own personal chart, not just the general. Um, but the fifth house is also true love, romance. You can have somebody coming into your life. How fun. If you're already just committed as we can get, um, you could just have a revitalization, revitalization happening here, which is beautiful. Now for some of you, this Mars and Sag business, some of you will be having babies or potentially making babies, but there's certainly the child energy around this. And sometimes I think it's just that inner child that we're expressing. But for some of you, this is a wonderful movement energy with children. So just make sure you're checking out your own personal natal chart so you can see how this is hitting you to know if there's something actually coming up with your child or a child or something like that in your world. Now, on the 31st, as we get ready to end our first full month of 2018, the brand new calendar year, um, we have got a lunar eclipse happening in your sign, so in your first house. Now, this is a total eclipse, so it's going to blot out 
right? When we completely darken for a second, we blot out. So it's like an emotional reset. And for you, I feel like this is this beautiful swap of perception, beautiful swap of presentation. You were who you were 2017 and past. Now, Leo, you get to re-represent yourself out in the world as something completely different, right? Or just a better version of it. Maybe you've got these projects going. Maybe you're ready to change your body because the first house is very much so about the body. You're ready to dress yourself differently. You're ready to go out in the world and say, yeah, I used to be this Leo, and now I'm just a more refined version of that, right? Whatever it is, you have a brand new presentation that's going to be rolling out over the next six months to really two years, depending on your chart. And this is a wonderful reset because I think it helps you shift into your new reality or into the new place that you belong as you're becoming this new person. You know, when we gain weight, lose weight, we start to carry ourselves as different individuals. When we adjust our schedules or we adjust the way that we are being efficient or inefficient in our lives, we show up different, right? When I'm more efficient, I show up calm, confident, my shoulders back, I don't feel rushed with people, things like that. So whatever it is, you're about to shift yourself so that you are showing up in a much different way that I think has a calm, has a center, and has a focus around your emotional life, as well as on your presentation life and your manifestation life as well. When we calm ourselves and we've come from the place of center, we can manifest a lot more easily. So I think it's going to be a good month, Leo. It's going to certainly be busy. Roll with the punches if you can when things, you know, change a little bit. But other than that, I'm excited to see what you're going to be bringing out of hiding, what you're going to be letting go so that you can move forward as we get ready to start this beautiful new year. So I hope to see you at $3 Thursdays. If you need a reading, click in the description box down below. The brand new Astrology 101 classes will be starting in January. 102 is starting in February. I hope to see you guys. I'm sending you lots of love.